Hi, it's Damien here from Pet Business Blueprint, and in this video we're going to have a quick look at editing your flyers and uh, price list from the Pet Business Blueprint package. And the first thing we need to do is grab this um, free piece of software called Scribus. So if you go to Google and just do a search for Scribus, go to this website and click the download button, choose the right download for your system, and install the um, software on your computer. This will allow you to edit the files that are included in the package. So once you've done that, if you then go to the folder on your computer uh, where the package is stored, and in my case it is Pet Business Blueprint, so it should be here under Flyers and Price Lists. Go into that folder, and the four um, flyer templates are these ones, Petfly Blue, Green, Magenta and Orange. So you choose the one that you want to start editing and uh, the price list is down here and basically just double click it once you've installed Scribus and it will open will open up in Scribus and enable you to edit it and basically um, yeah it's quite intuitive we just click the section we want to edit and uh, we can double click in there and we can just highlight the text and begin editing it write whatever we want. Um, if you want to change styles or font sizes or things like that you just right click that box and you choose edit text from the drop down menu and then you can actually remember to select the text in here when you're editing it. So you can change the font, you can change the font size, um, you can choose any font that's already on your computer and change the color of the font, um, make any changes that you like really just as you would in a word processor. Um, you can move that, you can drag and drop that box around to reposition the text. And so yeah, put your own business name in there. Um, change your services here, same process, just select it, type in whatever you want to change. You change this image to whatever you want, so you just right click, right click the image, choose get image. And then you can choose um, a picture off your computer to put in there. So, I'm just going to choose a random image. So you might put a photo of yourself in there, um, your logo, some kind of logo design. So just to show you, I'm just going to put one in there. So again, we can drag and drop it. And then same here, just right click and you can choose edit this text in the box here. Change it to whatever you want pretty good by default. Um, it might be a bit wordy so you could probably minimize this, make it a bit bigger and less bullet points because you want to grab people's attention if it's going in their letterbox or um, you know in the mail or however you're sending it out then you want it to kind of grab their attention straight away and yeah put your own kind of blurb in here so you put your suburb service in the greater whatever your area is or suburb get in touch with you know put your name you could just say get in touch with us today um, I think the more personal you make it the better because people want to be dealing with a real person so that's why I recommend if you're comfortable just putting your photo here um, I think it's going to have a much be better impact than a logo or some generic image um, yeah and obviously then just change your um, phone number down here to your actual phone number and your website you could also put like your Facebook page or your email there if you don't have a website set up yet so that's basically it. So when it comes time to, um, so from here what we do once we've got it all how we want it, looking, we go to the file menu and we choose export. And you always want to save this as a PDF. Okay, so that's going to make it like a nice document that anyone can view and it's kind of like sealed, no one can edit it. And uh, it's nice and compact. So you go save as PDF. Um, you pretty much leave all the settings as default. If you're printing it, if you're going to have print it professionally, you want it to be um, 300 dpi, any settings that you can. And I think it's already set to that by default. Um, so yeah, just make it all pages. Leave everything as is. You shouldn't really need to change anything like this. And then we just click save. And if we go back to our folder now, um, there it is, it's saved it as a PDF. We can open that up. there's our PDF final version. 
So when we want to go back and edit it again, you'll always open up the original file. So you'd open that pet fluff and then you'll just export it again. Because once you export it, like it's kind of sealed now as a PDF, but you can just keep saving it as a PDF and make your changes as you need to. Um, and so with this PDF, we can now send it to the printer. We can um, upload it onto our website, and there'll be a separate video on how to do that. Um, and then, particularly with the price list, so editing the price list is the exact same process. Um, I'll just go through that very quickly. So yeah, right-click this, choose Get Image, um, add your own image to it, or leave the default one. It's up to you. Edit this text, change the date if you want to. Um, and then obviously these are just placeholder things, so you want to be editing, adding your own text and prices there. Change your address and everything down the bottom if you even want to put your address there, website. And same thing, so you just go File, Export, Save as PDF. And don't worry about that too much. And just go um, Ignore Errors. That's just that little image there just happens to be um, lower resolution than if you'd want to get it like professionally printed, but it's still fine for standard printing. Um, and that's basically it. So ignore errors, save, and there's our price list. So we can now upload that to our website and um, yeah, check the other video on how to embed it in your website and let, let people download it on via their browser straight away. So then they've got it on their own computer and they can print it themselves at home. And that's basically it on editing the um, flyers and price list. If you've got any questions, um, either shoot us an email via petbusinessblueprint.com.au or go to our support forums there. There's a link to the forums and just start a new ticket on the support forums and we'll give you any help you need. Okay, thanks for watching.